Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you need IT consulting, you can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. And uh, if you are a new subscriber, a new viewer, or a return, thank you. I do appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about tonight is a company that I am super excited to be working with. I've been recommending their products for a while and uh, I reached out, we made, uh, we made a connection and I am talking about Protectly. And if you don't know who Protectly is, they make these awesome firewall appliances that are built like tanks. Uh, you can see this is the six port. It's got uh, six one gigabit ports on the device. I don't know if you can see that. And then the entire device is one big heat sink. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then on this side, you got a console port, four USBs, HDMI, and power. And then uh, you also have spots for wireless cards here. And then I also have two of their four port devices and the four one gigabit ports, power. Then uh, on the side, you got the Wi-Fi over there. Once again, this whole thing is a heat sink. And then you've got uh, two HDMIs, console, two USBs, uh, speaker, headphone, and then power. And we use these for OpenSense and PFSense uh, installations. So um, the other thing that I like about these is that they run Core Boot, and we're going to get into that, but basically Core Boot is a BIOS that is completely open source, completely audible, um, and so you can make sure of the security of your device when you install it. These things are super tough, super inexpensive, really, for what you're getting, and I've had clients ship them to me in literally just a bubble mailer, right? They'll take it, and <laughs> they'll shove it in a bubble mailer just like this, and this is how they ship it. In fact, these are so tough, I, uh, I'm gonna show you something here. Uh, stay tuned. All right, I'm sure that the, uh, the floor probably needs to be swept, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one firewall and put it there, and I'm not sure how clear this is. I can't see the focus all the way down there, but uh, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna stand on these devices, and uh, I'm even gonna do some uh, some uh, little toe ups there, whatever you want to call those. And the devices are completely unharmed. They're a little dusty. But other than that, these things are just, they're absolutely rock solid. Like I could do a handstand on these if, if I could actually do a handstand. So now you're probably saying, all right, so we've seen you stand on them. You've, ta <laughs> you've talked about it. What comes in the box? So uh, just as an example, in the box, you're going to get a vase mount. So if you wanted to mount these, you know, mount it on the back of a monitor, you could totally do that. Uh, you get, of course, the power cable. You get a console cable. You get, uh, so there's the console cable. You get the power cable, the vase mount, and then you get, you know, any of the other uh, drive adapters, power cables, all that stuff that comes with the model that you've ordered. So uh, we'll go over to the website, we'll take a look at the products, and uh, then uh, I'll show you what the pricing kind of looks like. And if you order from them, make sure you let them know that I sent you. And um, I'm, I'm super excited about it. So let's head over, we'll look at the devices, and we'll look at uh, Core Boot. All right, so here we are at the Protectly website, and you can see right at the top, very prominent, firewalls with advanced firmware protection. So we will get to that here in a minute. They do have US-based tech support. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee, and they ship worldwide. In fact, I just had a customer who bought one, didn't buy the core boot version, wanted to buy another one. They returned it, no questions asked, and now we have two of the core, uh, core, core boot versions. So uh, you can see over here, it runs PFSense, CentOS, Untangle, OpenSense. People are running ESXi on it. People are running Windows on it. It is 100% silent. 
The case is the heat sink. It does run core boot, so we're going to get into that here in just a minute. There is a 4G failover. And here we can look at all the different models that they have and some of the uh, pricing. Before we get to that, in-house Q&A, every device goes through rigorous testing. They probably did not go through the testing that I put this through. Um, they do have the happiness guarantee, and they do have U.S.-based tech support. All right, so let's take a look at all of the products real quick because I told you they have this two-port version starting at $149. Bucks. It's two ports, uh, fanless. They're all fanless. Then you have the four-port. Then you have this other two-port right here that's got the Intel Celeron, and you can see this is a little bit of a beefier case. And then you have the FW4B, the 4A, the FW6A, 6B, and 6C. They all have different specs. You can see this high-end one here that has the uh, i5-7200U, two processor cores, four threads, up to 32 gigs of memory in that bad boy, all the way up there on the end. And that the FW6B is the one that I have. And that's got the i3. And we can have a max of 32 gigs of RAM on that. So they pack a lot of compute power for a firewall into this. Now, I do not have the Wi-Fi. You can see that all of the models can get optional Wi-Fi. And then here is the ASNI. So you can see these lower end models do not have it, but the rest of these do. And you can, I'll leave a link to all of this. Like I said, let them know that I sent you. Now, one of the things that we really talked about was core boot. And core boot, I think, is very important because, it, and they even say right here, millions of devices around the world already run on core boot. It's fast, lightweight, and secure. And it has maximum security, transparency, transparency, and auditability. And when you go to order your device, and I'll show you that, you can select that. So what are the advantages of Core Boot? It's fast, has broad support, uh, it's validated to work with PFSense, OpenSense, FreeBSD, Untangle, Ubuntu, Windows, and ESXi when used on the Vault. It uses a minimal trusted computing base for each platform which is easily auditable and it helps to guarantee security. As Core Boot is open source, anyone can check the code base. After it has completed initialization, initialization more than 99% of the code is removed from memory. And when paired uh, with a secure boot on the FW6, the solution can be used to ensure that only signed firmware is allowed to run, thereby creating a highly secure environment. Now, they do have a deep dive into uh, Core Boot on the Vault. If you're interested with that, you'll be able to get to that here. And all Core Boot supported models, they show these here. So let's uh, configure one of these. I just quoted one of these tonight for somebody else, and it was the four port. So let's, it starts at $219. We'll hit configure now. And it's going to be an Intel Celeron J3160. Uh, we've got four gigabit ports. We've got that encryption support. It's 25% smaller, fanless and silent, included power supply, VESA mount kit, serial console cable, and quick start guide. So if we add 8 gigs of RAM to this and we add a 32 gig SSD, we don't need Wi-Fi. They will pre-install OpenSense now. And then if we go with the core boot, BIOS and a US power cable that's going to put us in at $297, which is a heck of a deal uh, for a firewall device like this. And everybody that, know, that I know that runs these devices, they absolutely, absolutely love them. But Core Boot to me, and just the whole company, uh, Protectly has been fantastic. I've, I've, I've talked to the owner. Uh, a couple times and they've been absolutely fantastic. They do have some other accessories and this one I'm going to get to try out and I'm super excited about which is this UPS uh, that they have. So if you look at this you can have a, a UPS just for the Protectly devices and what I like is you can do desktop or wall mounting 
It's got the DC to DC cable, but check this out. So the UPS is rated at 44 watt hours. That means it can supply DC power for a total of 44 uh, watt hours. So it's watts times hours. For example, if the vault uses 8 watts, it can supply out power for 5.5 hours. So that means that if you're using the vault that uses 8 watts, that this device, after the power fails, can power that firewall for 5.5 hours by itself. So that's awesome. I can't wait to try this out. We'll, uh, we'll do some videos on that when I get it. But um, I'm super excited, especially about the, the core boot. And, you know, when we're talking about firewalls and, you know, maximum accountability, being able to audit the BIOS and see the code or pay to have it audited. And then, um, you know, on this FW6, making sure that only signed firmware is allowed to run. I mean, you could get a lot more secure if you spent crazy amounts of money, but in this market segment, this is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, in the next upcoming videos, we're going to load OpenSense. I did not have them load OpenSense on these, but we're going to do an OpenSense load and we're going to do some site to site VPN stuff. So I'm pretty excited. I hope you uh, will come back for that. All right. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for a firewall, whether it's going to be PFSense, OpenSense, Untangle, if you want to run ESXi, Windows, whatever, Ubuntu, these boxes can run all of that software. And they're super inexpensive. They are super durable. They've got a, a you know a warranty. They've got U.S. based support. These things rock. I can't say enough about them. I want to thank uh, Protectly for sending these over. They did not pay me for this video, but they did send these over for the lab. So we're going to do some OpenSense videos, and we are going to use all of these devices in our OpenSense videos. So that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. If you want to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks. Those links are down below. If you want to uh, use all of the affiliate links, and don't feel pressured to do that, but uh, they are down below. They don't change your price, but they kick a couple bucks over to the channel to keep things rolling in. So once again, I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.